Here are 5 effects in DaVinci Resolve that you can do for free. Highlight your video footage, go to the color tab, then go to effects library on the top right. You can type in there glow, you can grab that glow and add it over your node. And then you need to change your shine threshold to 0 as well as the spread back to 0. Then you can scroll further down and on compose type you can change it from add to soft light. And that's all you have to do for this effect, you can see an example before and after just by using two clicks and using one effect. Next up we're having film flash, you can go to effects library, you can type in there adjustment clip, you can find it and then you can drag it and leave it over the video footage that you're having. You can then highlight it and go to the color tab, in there you can increase the amount of gain to about values of 2. Then you can go back to the edit tab and you can take down the duration of that adjustment clip. Make sure that adjustment clip is staying just in between your clips. And now all you have to do is just fading and fade out the beginning and the end until the middle. And that's the final result. Next up we're having some kind of music video transitions, so for this effect I'm having two video footages on my timeline, hold out and drag the first one to make a duplicate, then pressing ctrl r to open retime and scaling, click on the drop down menu, then click change speed and then change it to 800, then you can grab that clip and leave it at the end of the first clip, click again ctrl r to hide the retime controls, then you can highlight this clip, go to effects library, open effects and you can type there invert color and you can drag and drop it over that footage. And then this is the final result. A nice trippy music video transition. Next up we're having some trippy paper burn transition. All you have to do is go to effects library. You can type there burn away and you, then you can leave it in between your clips as a transition. Then place your timeline marker in between these clips so you can preview the transition. Highlight the transition, go to the inspector. And in there you can change a few options of that burn away transition. I like to use a hotspot on the motion. And then I can randomize my three spots, I'm keeping it at number three. Then what I like to do is I can go down and I can increase a tiny bit the burn to about 0.5. And I also like to increase the brightness of blur and glow to about 1.2. And reduce the values of spread to about 0.6. And then this is the final result. A quick and easy paper burn transition effect. And last but not least we're having a ghost trail effect. I'm highlighting my video clip and clicking on change clip speed and you want to leave it at least to 500 so I'm leaving mine on 750 and I'm clicking change then what you have to do is that you can highlight this clip go to the inspector and then you can go to retime and scaling which is at the bottom and then on retime and process you want to select frame length and that's the final result if you want more effects click on this video right here and see you in the next one